chapter 1, Mishnah 6. A Tana question is the previous Mishnah. Rabbi Huda said, if this is so, that we mention the opinions of individual Tanaim, so that if a court rules like them, its ruling cannot be overturned, why do we mention the opinion of an individual Tana together with the majority opinion, even in a case when his words are irrelevant because no court may ever rule like him? In such case, what purpose is there in knowing what an individual Tana said? Rabbi Yehuda gives his own reason why the Mishnah mentions opinions that are not followed. We mention the opinions of individual Tanaim so that if a person will say, I have received such and such a law as a tradition from my teacher, why do we not follow it? One could say to him, the law that you heard is the opinion of such and such a Tana. However, the majority disagreed with him, and thus the law follows the majority and not your tradition.